originally designed as a field base for testing different plants that had survived the war, it quickly gained to have a new purpose. All of the misfits and other people that just didn't fit into the Enclave was sent here, which is why it got its name, Camp Misfit. Oh, whoa there, I'm Forge Tech, and this is the second episode of my faction series, where I'm basically creating kind of war for each of the camps with its own faction and its own grouping. And these are the Enclave Exiles. They are the misfits, the weirdos, and the people that just didn't quite fit in. You know, every group's got them. The bigger your group, the more of them you have. So they sent these people out here. And during the all of the Enclave stuff that went on, they were so little thought of that no one actually even remembered they were out here. After a while, they went looking to figure out what had happened. And upon finding out that they might be the only people left in the Enclave, they decided to go their own way. And with that... Let's begin. Now that they didn't have the ability to actually get fuel and water, they had to come up with their own ways of powering the base and getting water. Starting to use non-traditional outfits because they knew that they would set them out a little too much against the backdrop of people, they still did have some pretty advanced technologies to work with. Of course, being a group of misfits, they also put said technology to let's say less survival oriented concepts being near a river gave them the idea of using junk and other things to build their own power grid so that they no longer needed fuel excess water is stored as well as salvaging extra equipment to keep themselves both fit as well as entertained using the technology provided to keep themselves safe. This base wasn't really originally designed to be for long-term inhabitation. But, you know, they make the best out of it. Officially, it was done as a researching fruits, vegetables that were edible, but the main reason they were sent out here is to see the effects of said vegetables as well as the air and water quality on the people that they ate, you know ate them ate all the fruits and vegetables and how you know if any they mutated because of it mostly run by technicians and a few researchers as well as a few lower ranking military the base doesn't have that standard issue enclave uniformity and during this walk if you enjoy this content uh, like and subscribe it does help me out and it'll help you uh, find additional content if you hit that notify button Like I said, originally used for, you know, using MREs and other things, they had to kind of come up with their own kitchen and mess hall. Since they weren't originally set up to do their own cooking. You know, but they figured out ways they make do. And of course, being a group full of misfits, they relax and rest. It's not like anyone's telling them where to go or what to do anymore. That said, they do still look to see if there's any additional people out there that might need their help. Manning both their original communications grid as well as an old ham radio. They might be misfits, but you know, they still care about the other people they used to serve with, and they hope one day that they find out what happened to the rest of them and maybe a few good stories come out and over time they've decided to start recruiting additional people from the wasteland because 
they do want to rebuild America for the best. Even if it wasn't exactly what the Enclave intended. <laughs>